conversation. It's, it's something that you don't see all the time. Right. A. That, you see it during election years. Election, that, how, wait, wait. How many election years, Math, have you seen a nigga swim? A brother getting <laughs> shot. Nigga. No, 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 Coming around that corner. Yeah, well, let's keep it Robert real. Robert F. Though. Kennedy Jr. for president. <laughs> let's keep it real, Thanks. though. Salute. I feel like right now, there's a vote for Trump. Right. They yeah. would. They want mm. that stimmy back. They want that stimmy back. They want that money. <laughs> I want that stimmy back. That nigga Trump <laughs> saying, <laughs> the hey, the I'm getting rid of these IRS agents, they crooks and all type of shit like that. Yeah. Trump he, is trying to, he's like, look, Trump just these said, is with me, your I'm money. For you. And I don't, I see, I don't, I don't know. I see this. Really being Trump we said get off all the way into the me, president thing, for you. Jamie Foxx, you did not owe nobody an apology. Hell no, no you hell no, Trump. Yo, you Jamie Foxx should man. not have a apologize no. for that shit. Stop minding black people business. If you don't understand the way we speak, we're not talking to you. Jennifer Aniston showed herself to be the very same kind of friend that Jamie Foxx was talking about. You gonna throw that man under the bus? You want to talk? Stop to trying to cancel us. Wait, mind you no, no, mind your business. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jamie, whoa, Jamie whoa, ain't talking about no harm or anti-Semitic anything. Whoa, 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 that was a that's a what, common what saying. Happened? What happened? What happened? Jamie Foxx. Okay, okay, okay. He, Jamie Foxx basically said they killed Jesus. What do you think they'll do to you? They took that as him being anti-Semitic. So yeah, as as he, like come on, like man. like he was going at Jewish people and he wasn't. You know so he, he had wasn't. to apologize because they was making it like that. Wow. Well, they was to make Jennifer no, Aniston. No, Jennifer implied. Aniston. They killed and Jesus. What do you think they'll do to you? But that's yeah. a saying that so we say as black saying people as we say for a long black time. People. We've been no saying hate that. in that. That's but we've been saying. It was supposed to be anti-Semitic. No, no they, they, took anti -Semitic. they took it so as anti-Semitic. So the Romans was Jews because as far as I, as far as I know, when you read the book, it's supposed to be the Romans that killed them, right? Mm -hmm. So how did, how does that get misconstrued? No, even no, connect? because because the the Jews called for Jesus' death. They called for him to be crucified, knowing that he had not committed any crimes. The Jews called right. for that's now that's in the book. Hey guys, why don't you read a book called The Maccabees? You can figure out what's really going on. <laughs> Just do that. Isn't that sad Just though? Do that. Jamie, you did not that's owe sad, an apology. <laughs> Before no. we get off into yeah. theology. You didn't know nobody. Shout I, I feel like Jenny just didn't want to stress. Like, For sure. oh God, oh, he just come home from the hospital. Okay, I get I'm it. sorry. Come on, man. Yeah, I get they it. They clone Tyrone out. Is doing good. Doing great. <laughs> doing great. <laughs> great. It's a good ass movie. It's a fantastic yeah. movie. Yeah. Great movie. Great movie. Yo, it's like the dark version of Undercover Brother. You ever see that movie? Mm -hmm. It reminds me like if Undercover Brother got turned all the way up. It's the, it's like it's almost it's so fucking. I gotta fun. watch. I'm gonna watch it again because I feel like it's deeper messages in there. It, it's all all through. Well, definitely. Watch it. Watch watch Even, both of them. And I like I, I like the last scene too because they was in L. A. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> definitely. <laughs> but isn't it? But y'all don't feel like there's a certain level of like fear that we live under. Like there's a certain hand of control over us. And I'm not speaking to any group or anything like that. But where you have to watch what you say. Or Bro, your career. We specifically is, is, is up for grabs. We, we specifically are behind enemy lines. Now you can take that however you want. You can take that however you want. No, it's you the want. truth. Do you see but the results of you, it? You are behind the lines and, and next door with your oppressor. The ancestors of your oppressor, the descendants of people who dehumanize you at every turn. I don't know how much civility we we can expect. We're getting more than than what we should think would be there. I'm, I'm fucking this up now because I'm really getting agitated. We, you, you are behind enemy lines. You go ahead and get comfortable if you want to. You a place at the table will never be your table. It's, mm. it's something different, and you need to move accordingly. When we say stay on code, mm. it's not anti them. It's pro you. When we start talking about circling the wagons, it's pro us. Pro us doesn't equal negative anybody else. That's why I turn around. I'm not your enemy. I'm not against you. I am pro you. When, when Kennedy sat in that chair, we talked about reparations. And the first thing he said was, well, how do you think other people going to feel? We don't care how other people feel. I don't, don't want to have to care how somebody... <laughs> why should I care about that? Why are you putting that burden on me? Why, why did the... Why do black people need to care about how somebody else feels about you finally getting square with the deal you made with us that you broke all these year, all those years ago? Like why why does that have to happen? And why are we talking like that shit was so fucking long ago? But, you know, Harriet Tubman was alive when Ronald Reagan was, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, like we, you need. It's not all black and white. Like you need to knock that shit off. Those generations are real. A lot of these people don't want you to know the history. Don't want to teach CRT in schools. Don't want to teach that because they don't want you seeing what their grandma, their grandmothers were actually doing to the kids. And that they don't want you yeah. learning that part. You know what's so like, fun? This yeah. reminds me. Shit. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. There, there was a there was a night. Um, I was walking in the city. Shout out to Flex. I was walking with Flex and um. We saw this old white lady on the ground. I remember this story. We went to help her up, and she looked up, and she looked at us, and she said, why are you helping me? I'm white. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh, my response was, well, you, you might be somebody's mother, and if my mother was in this position, I would want people to help me too. But she was just in disbelief that black people was helping her up. Because that wouldn't have mattered to her back in her prime. That's the whole point. Yeah, it made me feel like she was throwing bricks back in the days. Yeah, uh, she she like you should have threw her ass back there. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> nah, 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 we we no, no, no. No, no. Get down. Because I, I don't See believe. I don't believe. Damn, and, we, and, you know, we talked about yeah. the Naruto yeah. thing and all that. Real shit. I was like um, three, four times. I don't man. believe revenge is. I don't believe revenge is the answer. Sometimes it is, though. When you say that, you say that, right? Nah. But there's always going to be there's always going to be a party that feels like that was wrong. Okay. You feel that's not going to understand where it started. That's they been. We see this shit go on in the hood, but like certain certain areas be at war forever mm -hmm. for some shit that happened a long time ago. But now this side is like, fuck that. They did this to such and such. And the other side is like, fuck that. They did this to such and such. And the shit don't stop. Right. And it boils over. Right. Especially coming from LA, like, you grow up, you get in the streets, you start gangbanging, you beefing with niggas that you don't even know why. Mm -hmm. it's, it's literally nothing that's directed to you. It's just inherited hate. Right. And you got to follow protocol because that's inherited what you're taught. Hate. Right. Inherited hate. We was just talking about that outside, like, you know what I mean? Like when LA people come, like artists or whatever, come to New York City, they good. You know what I mean? A lot of New York niggas go out there and lose their life. We was just talking about that shit. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke. And let me tell you something. You know, like a lot of artists died out there, you know what I mean? Pop Smoke was my homie. He was a real one. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Played the game fair. And I don't even look at it like... It's a. Uh, How do you feel about that though? Like you know. Oh what I mean? man, like, that shit. You know what? When it happened, when it happened, it just made my fucking soul burn because I was like, "Fuck!" It's just another stigma put on where I come from. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like what you were saying earlier, where it was like, you know, it's not more of a he's from the East Coast thing, black on black thing. It's more like little niggas is trying to get a hit a lick. You know what I'm saying? Right. It could be anybody in there. The but it just so happened yeah, yeah. that it happened on our soil. And then the conspiracies come back and the stigma is like the West Coast don't fuck with the East Coast. Why is the East Coast people always coming over there and something is happening to them? We felt right. targeted. Like, of yeah, course. Man, it's a lot. Like, it's I, East Coast niggas. We I remember targeted. even when PNB Rock died. You know what I mean? I had homies from Philly. They like, we driving down there. We on some West, West Coast type shit. I understand though. Because it just seems like that right. versus, you know what I'm saying? RP PNB Rock was a solid nigga too. Knew him as well. That Roscoe's that he was at, we'd never go there. Never. That's the worst Roscoe, that's the worst place to eat top five in Los Angeles. And we don't the go there. Everybody was saying, why did he go there? Yeah. But he didn't, what if he didn't know? Like he just, you know, a tourist going through. I heard about Roscoe's. I want to go over there and you know stop. I heard they chicken is good. But, but, but he probably went there mad times. About it. Think about these it. different Roscoe's. There's, there's different Roscoe's. What I'm saying is he probably didn't know that. He probably just, yeah, somebody like probably that. told him it was a good spot up, to go to to go eat. Look how he but when they say that, we said he had a Maybach. They said he bought a Maybach. You feel me? To this to this terrible area and shit like that. You don't see them type of cars in those areas. That's like the first the thing nigga gonna look think is, oh, we gonna we got somebody. Yeah, they don't know the food. fuck is going on. Right, it's food. It's just food. Right, because we, if you really from LA and you you know like ain't nobody from LA about to go over there and do that shit. And if you do do it, you are gonna grab your shit to go and you are gonna get the fuck out of there. You're not gonna sit down and feel comfortable. Right, 
Right. And that's the positive side of checking in. Right. The same way that Crooked Eye described it. Like, it's not always... It's not about out. no tough shit or nah, a nigga try to extort you. But he was... But don't he, go over there, playboy. But let he let, fucked let me with niggas from the city, though. Right. Yeah, but yeah. maybe he just didn't ask And even the, or, close to the area, he was fucking with niggas over there. I think it was more like, I know people over here. It's, it should be cool and stuff like that. But was he, he probably didn't know the severity. Him? He was beefing with somebody nah, over but there, that, right? That, but that's not it, man. It's not it. It's uh, it's it's more of you got the jewelry. Yeah, he was shining. You ain't have to kill him. Mm -mm. But they said it was a kid though, and his father. It was yeah. like a seventeen-year-old little nigga. Yeah, like, but if he's being led by some sick fuck, OG nigga, that's telling him this is this. Like I could never imagine myself putting my son in that position. Hell, man. or any young nigga, or any like that's crazy. But that's unfortunately, like you said, son. any young nigga, most of the big homies are people that's telling you to do some shit and fuck your life up. Man. Right, right. Man. Crash dummy. It's very seldom crazy. you got a big homie that tell you, "Hey, do this. Go to school. Go get a trade. Go do something to make some money." They don't take it. They tell you, "Go, hey, go slide. Go do this. Go do this. Go do that." And when you fucked up, the same motherfucker ain't gonna write you. They ain't checking on your mom, and they might fuck your bitch. Right. See, but it, uh, uh, LA nigga, and this, I, I gotta say this, uh, LA artist, no LA artist ever died coming on the East Coast. Never. It never, you never heard of that in your life. You never heard of an LA artist losing their life on the East Coast. That's because mm -hmm. we killing our own. No, you, but you, you also, you also gotta, gotta understand here, too the award shows. And all the places that you really got to be is on the West Coast. Right. You know what I'm saying? But what about the source? Wasn't that on the East Coast when Suge said that? No, no, I didn't, no, no. No, it was in Miami. One was in Miami and the other one was in... um. What was that source Atlanta? when Suge came in Cali. up? Cali. Cali. 90, that wasn't in 90, Cali. The one in 95, Because Snoop was, was like, Miami. what? East Coast don't got no luck? No, that, 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 that's, uh, that's that not... That wasn't on the East Coast? Coast? I don't... I don't... I'm not sure. I'm that had sure. to be on the East Coast. Ninety five before that. my before my time. I'm not sure. I was. Big came that. out and all that. That had to be on the but East the Coast. The problem the problem is is I think what we are missing is the, the fact that this is a, a super public health issue. The fact that there's miseducation, there's there's no true leadership. Right. In a no. lot of these environments. No, as well. it, it's it's the the problem really. Is how we identify ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't take a fucking apple seed to fucking Germany, plant it. Right. And now it's not an apple seed. It's still a fucking apple seed. Right. So whether you're on the East Coast or the West Coast, you're black. You're it's black all the man. same. We all the same. You're black I mean, man. Just you are identifying side. yourself by an area that, that's probably the, 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 the cause of, of your people's destruction. Right. Makes no sense. Right. Like we are we are we all in this together or are we or what are we doing? Yeah, 30, what what was this the statistic? Um, thirty bit thirty eight percent of people locked up with what? Recidivists. Yeah, recidivists. No, but they're black. black and Hispanic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we only make up thirteen percent of the of population the world, of the United States population. Right. Yeah. And it's because of stupid shit like that. Right. It's because of people sitting sitting on a block they don't own and in, in, the, the, in a crib that they don't own, that nobody, none of their big homies run none of this shit and claiming that area like this is your fucking identity. It's not. 